This rethinking of healthcare is not just a quick, easy little thing. It's not a little superficial change. We have essentially rethought and redesigned every single aspect of care from who we hire, how we hire, how we train, how we deploy, how we track data, how we recognize, how we reward, how we build facilities, how we organize people structurally within the, the caregiving environment. The core fundamental skills we need to have as a system, the services we need to deliver are partnering with people, coaching, mentoring, teaching, facilitating, and secondarily, the ability to diagnose and prescribe pills completely different than what the current healthcare system thinks. I mean, the medical model is, right, diagnose, treat, prescribe, do procedures, ignore your existence till you come back, and then judge you compliant or non-compliant. If we're gonna use the word compliant, it ought to be how compliant we as a system are in meeting your wants, needs, and wishes as a person needing our services. And we ought to be judged compliant or non-compliant, not the other way around. You own your own health, you own your own healthcare journey, and we're there to advise and support. Part of the philosophy is to bring everything to where the person is. So instead of sending you around to visit here, visit there, visit there, we do everything we can for you in the visit in the same place at the same time. It's called max packing so that we don't create visit after visit for no good reason, but rather meet you on your terms. The facility design is extremely important. The thing the whole system uh, revolves around in our uh, design is the integrated care team space. So the most important part here is the idea for the primary care provider, case manager, case management support, CMA, uh, and then these other people, the behaviorist, dietitian, pharmacist, and midwife, to all be sitting immediately beside each other. Everyone gets about three feet of modular furniture space. They sit in bullpens. They literally practically touch elbows, but they're constantly talking to each other, overhearing what's going on with each other, and thinking and acting as a team. Doctors don't sit with other doctors. You sit with the team of people you do your work with. No nurses stations, no private offices, 40% of our clinical encounter spaces have been demedicalized, no exam table. You sit at the same level, you communicate around the electronic health record as sort of equals in communication with each other about your health journey. So the power differential has changed, the space has changed. We've eliminated parts of the system that make no sense. On a per person basis, we've reduced visits to the emergency room by over 50%. We reduced inpatient hospital days by over 40%. We reduced the number of visits to specialists by over 60%, while dramatically improving almost every health indicator you want to measure. Three quarters of our measures now put us in the top 10 to 25% of health organizations in the country. And this is in an urban Alaska Native population with many challenges, where we used to be sort of at the bottom of the heap. Our staff turnover has dropped to one fifth of where it was seven or eight years ago and our satisfaction ratings for both staff and people getting services are very high. Many systems, including ours that have done this, show between 30 and 35% reduction in total cost per person per year through ER avoidance, hospital avoidance, reduced tests, reduced x-ray, reduced specialty visits, uh, all lead to dramatically lower costs, about 30, 35% reduction. This has been repeatedly shown in multiple different places that have put in place really robust ability to partner with people over time, rebuilding that front end around what the customer wants and needs instead of what I as a professional want and need.